Five years ago, I spent a whole week building an elaborate contraption just so my wife can let me know when lunch is ready. <laughs> David's team. What is this contraption? A telephone. <laughs> <laughs> it's an, a contraption that goes from the house to the bottom of the garden where, where I spend most of the morning. But why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, because I've got a little shed down there where I, where I write. Describe this, this contraption to us. OK, well, it's long. <laughs> it's, I've got a very long garden. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. uh, it's on a slight uh, incline. Mm -hmm. It's made out of tubes. And my wife operates one end. I receive... <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I receive, I receive something that comes out the other end of the tube. So it's a, it's a very long tube, and she puts a little ball in one end. And the ball plops out the other end. And that's when lunch is ready. You sound like somebody who is teaching sex education but hasn't got a clue yourself. Well, there's a ball at one end, and a ball comes out the other end, and, and that's, that's when, when lunch is ready. <laughs> Elaborate. Is it the length of it? Yes. How long is it? Long. 60 metres. 60 metre long garden? I mean, you're doing well, so but not that well. Right. <laughs> How wide is your garden? Is it one metre? <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> and eight metres wide. Why okay. doesn't she just phone you or text you or WhatsApp you? <laughs> because, Rob, um, there's no phone reception at the bottom of the garden. You said your garden's on an incline, so is she yeah, putting said... a ball in one end? How's that travelling up? Well, it's an incline. Well, the incline from my end is at from... the house, yeah, and it... the bottom part is. It really is quite simple. No, but that's, you know. a de that's a decline. No, decline is what you would do if David was to suggest something a bit fruity. <laughs> that is a decline. <laughs> what happens when it reaches the shed? It plops. Oh yes, yes. Into the lid of a metal bin. Okay. Oh. So once it's installed, that's it. You can forget about it. I should take the pipes off the ground. Oh. All right. how, how did you suspend it off the ground? In a hedge. The pipe's very important as well, because we had a similar system at my house where we didn't use the pipe. My wife was at the bottom <laughs> in the shed working, <laughs> and I used to just roll it, roll the golf ball down, and there'd been a heavy snowfall, <laughs> and it gathered momentum, and it pushed it off. Uh, yeah, that's awful. The whole thing was flattened, yeah. and uh, that's sadly how my wife died. So it's very important <laughs> to keep it in case. <laughs> All right, well, look, what are you thinking? It does sound to me a little fantastical. It's peak boredom, isn't it? And some people get bored. I think the show's the going fine. <laughs> 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 I think it's true. I think it's true as well. I'm going to say it's true. OK, so, uh, Alex, <gasps> truth or lie? 60 metres. True! It's true. Alex has built a contraption just so his wife can tell him when lunch is ready. And we've got a clip of it. Yes! Oh. oh, my God. Whoa! Wow. I love it! Oh. I love it! It was just like you described it. <laughs> <laughs>